Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Tajik Bay. It's 11.38 uh, a.m. Eastern Time, April 20th. And uh, I'm recording this podcast, which is dedicated to the um, upcoming card uh, that takes place this Saturday, UFC Vegas 71, where uh, Sergey Pavlovich meets Curtis Blades. So <laughs> um, I just spent an entire hour recording this podcast. And for some reason, the software that I'm using didn't register it. It's a bit uh, frustrating because um, this was an hour of content breakdown and like corny jokes and stuff like that. Like, so everything was going well. Um, But now, you know, we're going to go to the shorter version because (laughs) I'm just not going to recall everything I said. I'm going to go quick. Maybe it's for the better because it's going to be an easy listen. You're just going to go through the picks. And um, I'll upload this on YouTube, on Spotify as well. Thanks for everybody for your feedback, guys. I know you guys wanted to podcast for um, quite some time. I've been traveling and spending time with my family. So, uh, um, you know, I have two priorities in life. One is family, another is MMA. So, uh, yeah. So let's let's get let's get the ball rolling. Uh, Dana versus Brady. Uh, I picked Dana to win, um, just on the premise that he will be able to defend majority of the Brady's takedowns, and he has a great volume and great uh, uh, great uh, volume and a great uh, K, uh, KO power. And I think he will stop uh, uh, Brady uh, in the later rounds, uh, round two and three. Uh, Priscilla Cachoeira versus Karin Silva. I enjoy Karin's uh, striking game. I think it's really good. Good one twos, uh, good head movement. Uh, that you know that the head is never in the center. Like I, I really like that. I like her head kicks as well. I think in terms of the striking, she hits very hard. Uh, there's not much advantage Priscilla uh, Priscilla has over Karin in terms of striking, and Karin has a tremendous grappling upside, uh, which she doesn't use much, but she should. I think uh, Karin will find the finish eventually, and I have Karin winning inside the distance uh, by submission. Uh, Francis Marshall versus William uh, Gomez. I'm a little bit more bullish. Um, <clears throat> on Gomez than the public is. I think Francis is, is, is good. He can put volume. He can take you down. Um, but so is Gomez. Gomez can also take you down. And I think I like his counter-striking game. I like the fact that uh, his style actually um, is, is a good matchup against Francis, who's going to just keep going forward. And I think William Gomez is going to catch him with uh, good strikes. And I think eventually uh, probably going to uh, put him away. I really like uh, Gomez here. And uh, I don't have a bet on him, but I do have, uh, but I do believe um, that he can win this fight. There's a, a, actually a good chance he wins this fight. Uh, Mo Usman versus Junior Tafa. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Mo Usman to be honest. Um, but he takes on Junior at a very good time. Like um, Junior is young in his career, 4.0, uh, 4.0 uh, in his career. Barely had any matches, you know, at the higher level. Although he fought uh, in the Ryzen lately, but uh, not against the great strength of competition. Uh, a great fighter, <clears throat> and so I think uh, close fight. But I think Junior Tafa is just. He's a younger fighter. He's going to make good improvements fight to fight. And uh, Mo barely throws any, any strikes. Like for us to expect that he's going to have, he's going to wrestle this time around. I, I don't know about that. And if he does, I think he actually tires. I think the reason why Mo doesn't wrestle is because he's a very muscular guy and it's just very tough for him to wrestle just in general because it's going to zap his energy and kill his cardio. So I'm going to go with Junior Tafa here. I don't know if he finds the finish. Actually, uh, I think Junior actually might might just like pick him apart and like win, win by decision, but uh, Junior Tafa is the pick. Carl Hossa versus Norma Dumont. I'll keep this one simple, short and sweet. Like the other ones, um, Carol Jose has more ways to win. She's going to uh, strike with you. She has a great volume and she can take you down. So Norman Dumont is one-dimensional striker and that's it. So yeah. And uh, and yeah, Montel Jackson, Rani, uh, yeah, yeah. The only question to end everybody's mind, um, if Montel can finish, <laughs> everybody believes he can. Everything on the data screams he can't. So yeah, what can go wrong? We're all going to bet him by ITD and he's not going to, uh, he's not going to, yeah, he's gonna let us down, but yeah, I think Montel finds a finish. I think he wins. He's a younger guy, and uh, I think uh, yeah. Although Yanni is Aran- Aran- has never been finished in the UFC, so take it with a grain of salt. So yeah, um, Ricky uh, Ricky Glenn versus uh, Gagos. I like yeah, I, I like Ricky Glenn here. I think um, his uh, Jiu Jitsu is actually is, is actually very decent and. Uh, 
And um, I don't I don't know if Dawson couldn't do much with Ricky, right? Like uh, despite all the control time he had and stuff like that. Like, whoa, what can Jago surprise Ricky with? I actually write like uh, Ricky here to submit Christopher uh, Jagos. Um, Jeremiah Wells versus Matt Samuelsberger. Oh, tough matchup could go either way. Uh, but Jeremiah has power. Uh, Matt has has volume, and um, he I like the fact that Matt actually had like a fight that went to decision, had like 15 rounds. He has a wrestling uh, path as well, grappling path. He can strike with Jeremiah Wells. He just simply like process wise, he's the right side. He has more ways to win, and I pick him to win as well. Uh, Lucinda, um, uh, Yasmin Lucinda versus Brogdon Walker. Uh, Brogdon Walker, um, another and big favorite WMMA. What can go wrong? Uh, <laughs> so we do this every week. Yeah. Um, I don't know if like she Lucinda deserved the, the, this much credit off of a loss. Like I never want to credit the fighter who lost the fight, like in a in an honorable way, like in a good competitive way. Like uh, L is an L to me, and so for Brogdon it was also a tough defeat. But uh, she's older fighter, and Lucinda has you know has has a boxing you know. So I don't know if Bo- uh, Brogdon, uh, Brogdon will, will grapple. I think she should probably try to uh, uh, re- uh, grapple with um, with Lucinda because. I mean, she's more decorated BJJ artist, so why not? I think she should if she's trying to win this fight. I'm going to stay away. I don't have any action yet, but I think I don't. Honestly, what's the prediction even here? I'll skip it, to be honest with you, because I'm, I can, it may end up actually picking Walker. I just don't, I'm not into this, like, I don't even have the conviction that Lucinda is going to win just based off what I saw in her last fight. Okay, good striking, but like, I mean, this is not boxing right so yeah it's like the least uh, interested fight that i'm interested in that i spend the most of time covering so so let's let's move on uh green uh, bobby green versus jared gordon i um uh, in my first recording i was just going over the stats with bobby green bobby green like outlanded fizzy if uh, you know like by like 40 50 strikes outlanded like moises double double the amount of uh what moises has thrown and same amount of takedowns and yet he lost both fights by unanimous decision there's something in the water there's something in 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 the optics and the stylistic uh stylistic aspects of bobby green's fight that just like rubs the judges the wrong way and jared you know yes we saw him earlier in his career being you know in the ufc career uh, being put away but uh, i think he'd be, become more responsible in this in the stand-up department and now he actually wrestles so it's going to be a close fight. I think probably ends in a split decision. I'm going to pick Jared Gordon to win by a split decision. Brett Tavares versus Bruno Silva. Close fight. Uh, Brett is a veteran. He's tough. And um, n- normally when I say he's tough as a <laughs> as, as, as a skill set or like a quality is not a good thing to be honest with you. Yeah, he's, he throws. He has good volume. He's, he's pretty durable. But I think Bruno Silva hits hard. I think uh, Bruno can struggle with the volume that Brett throws, but I like the power on the Bruno Silva side. Plus money on either side is okay. So I think Bruno is an underdog right now. So if you took him, I don't blame you. It's probably going to be a close fight. I'm going to go with Bruno Silva here. Um, Sergey Pavlich versus Curtis Blades. That's what you guys are here for, right? Like I normally I break down like one fight. I'm, I'm breaking down the entire card for you guys, and just because you guys have been very patient, very supportive of my content, I appreciate all of you guys. I, I don't care where you guys are following me, on Twitter, on Substack, elsewhere, like uh, maybe on YouTube now since this recording is gonna be on YouTube. So you want to subscribe to my youtube maybe if you liked it on youtube just let me know maybe i will be doing it more often not just uploading it on youtube for your convenience maybe that's the way i don't know but let me know you guys always give me a feedback and now we have a Substack chat so we can chat there too so if you have any feedback just feel free to shoot you know you, you know i'll um uh, always open to feedback and uh yeah so but uh curtis is, is like this um i think for curtis is the identity crisis right because m- most of his tough fights are actually are taking place uh when he wrestles and grapples right like with rosenstroik with volkov right like he took his opponents down but he couldn't finish right and he doesn't land much when he's on the ground but when he's standing up like with Dawkins, like uh aspinall like he wins he wins by ko i think for him is a huge dilemma like am i who am i as a fighter like am I am I a KO artist or am I a wrestler? Am I both a little bit? Like I, and I think with him it's like it's just problematic because of how easily his win comes when he strikes. Sergey doesn't have this issue. Sergey knows who he is. You know, interestingly, like I say that, uh, but Sergey's base. You know, I watch his interviews and like 
uh, in Russia and uh, just in general. Like, uh, I mean, his lifestyle, the guy, you know, kind of like a guy that has everything you want to cheer for. You know, he's coming, you know, uh, from humble backgrounds, you know, like from uh, like lived in like a village and, uh, you know, went into a school, you know, training and uh, for uh, Greco-Roman actually uh, wrestling. His base is Greco-Roman and throughout his career, he, he, um, he, you know, trained with the likes of like Daniel Cormier, aka, uh, and Dagestani wrestlers at the Olympic level. Like he does, he's not uncomfortable uh, uh, in terms of the wrestling. And he knows that in the stand up, like he knows that he's a, he's a striker, he's a KO artist who has who has this, you know, uh, wrestling and uh, you know skills for for defensive purposes, right? I think he knows who he is as a fighter, and I don't think Curtis knows who he is as a fighter yet. And uh, that's I think is 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 is, is uh, problematic. Um. On the Sergei side, like the downside is that he finishes everybody in the first round. And and Curtis has been, I think Curtis is more experienced, tougher strength of competition. And I think if you're this process wise, you think, hey, uh, you know, Curtis can strike with Sergei and he can wrestle. He has more ways to win. I would agree with you. I think process wise, he's the right side. Uh, but again, you know, my counter to that, uh, and I'm. Um, this may not age well. It's just I think the this identity crisis that Curtis has I think is a little bit problematic for him because if, if I'm a Curtis fan, I hope he wrestles. I hope he wrestles because it may not come as easy, but it'll gonna zap the Sergey's energy. You know, like he may not win as easily as he thinks because maybe he throws a punch and it, it puts away Sergey. Yeah, probably not likely to happen. But so like take him down. Take Sergey down and pound him out. Whatever, five rounds, ten rounds, doesn't matter. Win is a win. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, but I just don't know. I just don't know what's in the Curtis's head. Like I don't like this matchup for him either. Like the most trouble Curtis has ever had were was with the strikers, right? Lewis put him away and Gano put him away. Does Sergey have the same power as Derek Lewis and Gano? Uh, the short answer is yes. So that's that's where my hesitations comes in. Right, like um, that's all I gotta say. I think it's gonna be a, a good fight. I think Sergey will find the finish, and if not, then he's gonna be you know Curtis is gonna should take him to a deep water, uh, deep ocean, and just stop him there. Um, after all, I guess he's overdue like for 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 a title fight. I think Curtis, and I just don't know why they gave him. I think after Aspinall, he deserved the title shot. That's what kind of like rubs me the wrong way, because I think he deserved it, and now they're giving him Sergey, and Sergey's like very very dangerous very dangerous i'll leave it at that i have sergey winning this main event and uh let me check the time how long it took me to record all this wow all 13 minutes guys like this is (laughs) this is great i hope this gets recorded like it share do whatever you want you know no pressure uh this content is going to be on uh, spotify it's going to be on youtube uh this time as a trial just to see if you guys uh access this contest you like this contest uh content uh, if not maybe i'll just go the conventional way substack twitter spotify thank you guys all for your support uh, that's what keeps me going i wanted to give you like a, a little extra bonus for your patience and for your support because like i always do like main event main events or maybe comment and stuff like that but this time i broke down the entire card for you guys albeit short and maybe from a second attempt but uh, i'm just going out of my way <laughs> and uh with all the frustration and you know like of not being able to to upload the initial recording but i keep it optimistic boys like this is and then girls like let's enjoy let's make some you know some money right like uh i think lately in terms of the picks picks are okay but i think bets were uh, are rough this year for me um which is fine which is fine it means that i need to do something different and uh and uh i'll keep putting effort into that but uh but for me the priority is always have a good time and i'm having a good time uh this despite recent setbacks and uh, part of it is also is because when you're part of the community you get the support you get the feedback you know and you get to communicate with people who can you know encourage you and uh and uh uh, and yeah, and I want to I want to thank a lot of people actually like for, for doing this. If you guys know who you are, like you you guys in the Substack all the time, uh, specifically like uh, George Janeiro, I spoke with you, 
uh, yesterday, George, thanks for the words of encouragement and uh, always, you know, for your guidance. I really appreciate it. So this pod is 15 minutes now. Thanks, everybody, for your support. Uh, yeah, if you have any feedback, just let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye.